IPS Indian Police Service. The Indian Police Service or IPS is one of the three All India Services of the Government of India. The IPS was formed in the year 1948. The cadre controlling authority for the IPS is the Ministry of Home Affairs. No person shall be qualified for appointment to the service unless he is a citizen of India. IPS officer serves for the state and central as well. Their primary duty is to maintain peace among public. Their main role is to lead and commanding the Indian intelligence agencies. Indian intelligence agencies like Research and Analysis Wing Intelligence Central Bureau of Investigation Criminal Investigation Department etc. The physical criteria for eligibility of the IPS officer is as follows, minimum height men 165 cm women 150 cm, minimum chest girth, men women, 84 cm 79 cm. A candidate must hold a bachelor's degree from any of the universities recognized by the UGC or possess an equivalent qualification. Minimum age 21 years maximum age 32 years on 1st of August in the year of examination. Designations, Director General of Police, DGP, Additional Director General of Police, ADGP, Commissioner of Police, CP, Inspector General of Police or Special Inspector General of Police, IGP or SIGP, Deputy Inspector General of Police, DIGP, Superintendent of Police or Deputy of Police, SP or DCP, Additional Superintendent of Police or Deputy Commissioner of Police, ASP or DCP, Less than 10 years of service, Deputy Superintendent of Police or Assistant Commissioner of Police, DSP or Police Inspector, PI, Assistant Police Inspector, API, Police Sub-Inspector, SI, Assistant Police Sub-Inspector, ACI, Head Constable, HC, Police Constable, PC. Police Figure Total Strength of Police is 2,064,370. Population per policeman is 576. Total Police Stations across the country is 13,984. Women serving in the police force is 71,756. In 2010 to 2011 rupees 49,576.99 crore was the collective expenditure on the police force across India. Police facts. Police officers in Madhya Pradesh are given a slight pay upgrade for having a moustache. Police officers often spend from their own pockets for official jobs. According to an NCRB report, between 2006 and 2011, Mumbai saw the highest number of police suicides, 168, in India. Police officers who had become victims of anxiety and depression after beating up people regularly in their course of work. Reservation for women in the police force is 33%. Life of a constables, according to their service rule they are employed with the 24 by 7 job. After being on from long time they are not getting leave. Sometime they get leave after 1 month or 2 months. The police station is made under tent or if the police station is situated under the building then the situation of building is very worse. Toilets condition of police station is very worse they didn't cleaned on daily basis. Most of the policemen defecates in open due to unavailability of good toilet facilities. Most of the police station have not a proper source of good drinking water. Due to this many police personnel will suffer from waterborne disease. Police uniforms. In 1847, Sir Harry Burnett Lumsden brought in the first official khaki uniform. Indian police can be identified by their khaki uniform. Moreover, the khaki color has become the symbol of power and responsibilities. However, Kolkata police wears white uniform, which is utterly different than the police uniform of any other part of India. Kolkata police was organized by the British government in 1845 and they decided the white color for their uniform. 
Since Kolkata is a coastal area, the humidity is comparatively higher there. Hence, white color is scientifically better choice. Absity in police officers An NRHM study in the state found that more than 50% of male and female police personnel were either overweight or obese. More than 100 officers died in the last 18 months because of lifestyle-related illnesses. What is Zero FIR? Zero FIR, in simple terms, means that infer can be filed in any police station, irrespective of the jurisdictional limitations and location of the incident. This is transferred later on to the police station to which the location of the incident is allotted to, so the investigational duties will be handled by the police station to which the case is allotted to.